2018 was a really interesting year for me, with a lot of fun adventures and some nice accomplishments on YouTube. The year started off with a first-class flight to Miami, where we boarded a brand new cruise ship, the MSC Seaside. And this was our 43rd cruise since we first started cruising back in 1996. The thing we loved most about this cruise was that we had our own private jacuzzi on our balcony. At my real job at California's last running nuclear power plant, I worked and saved all my vacation time until May when I took three weeks off work to do a real bucket list item, a cruise through the Panama Canal. And I got to do it in a brand new cruise ship that turned out to be the best ship I had ever been on, the Norwegian Bliss. Normally, it's just my wife and I cruising together, but this cruise was a special treat because we got to bring one of my sisters along with us, and she's a lot of fun. Before the cruise, we spent several days at the Margaritaville Resort in Hollywood, Florida, and they upgraded us to one of their best suites at no extra charge. We had so much fun spending our days in the big swimming pools at Margaritaville. A big accomplishment in May was reaching 200,000 subscribers of my YouTube channel. And this video about my G-Scale model trains really caught on and passed the 1 million view mark. By the end of the year, it had almost 4 million. In June, the total number of views of all my YouTube videos combined passed 200 million views. And I released this new model train video that ended up being super successful. It got a million views in just 32 days, another million just nine days after that. By the end of the summer, it had five million views, and by the end of the year, it was approaching seven million. In July, we took a thousand mile drive into Oregon and Washington to explore the Pacific Northwest with my brother and my two sisters. I dropped off a train set I no longer wanted with my nephew's son, and I picked up an old train set that my brother-in-law wanted me to have. I also got to ride on some really big model trains at Train Mountain in Southern Oregon. In August, I set up a set of train tracks that ran all the way over to my neighbor's house, and my video about it got over a million views, making it my 16th YouTube video to do that. In September, we flew to Maui in the Hawaiian Islands and spent a week at the Sheraton Resort, relaxing in their swimming pools, swimming in the ocean with wild sea turtles, and just having fun. But by the end, we concluded that a cruise is really a better vacation for us. Not too long after we got home from Maui, our 16-year-old Cocker Spaniel Morgan passed away. In the last few years, you may have seen her, she's made cameo appearances in several of my model train videos. In October, we flew first class to Cancun, Mexico, where we did an experiment to see how a week at an all-inclusive resort compares to a cruise. We saw a lot of beautiful sunrises in Cancun, loved our private jacuzzi on our patio, and had a chance for genuine relaxation with absolutely nothing on our schedule for an entire week. But I think a cruise is still a better vacation for us, especially because of the variety of food on a cruise ship. In November, a video about an inexpensive Polar Express train set that I created last year finally passed a million views more than a year after I first posted it to YouTube. And right after that, I actually set a personal best with this new model train video. It got a million views in just eight days. And by the end of the year, it had two and a half million. And finally, in December, we tried a type of cruise we had never done before, a country music fan cruise. We sailed on the Norwegian getaway with Brian White and Colin Ray, two country music stars that both had a lot of big hits back in the 1990s. 
This was our 45th cruise, and we loved the pampering and the VIP treatment that we got in the Haven, which is a private enclave within the ship, separate from all the rest of the passengers, where we had the use of a private, uncrowded pool and courtyard area, a private sun deck, a private restaurant, and even a private bar and social area. And, oh yeah, a butler and a concierge. It was a great ending to a really interesting year. And there's so much to look forward to in 2019, including three cruises in the first six months, including a return to the only type of cruise ship that's ever managed to deliver an experience rivaling that of what we've had in the Haven on NCL. We'll be cruising on Viking Ocean Cruises, which is adults only, completely uncrowded, delivering a really amazing cruise experience that's hugely better in a lot of ways than what you get on the other cruise lines. So keep watching as we cruise on into the new year.